Hello there, my name's Dave Allen, I'm good and geeky, and someone called Jando was asking about how to make grids and get it so that the horizontal and the vertical gap in between them was the same. So let's have a look and see how we might do that and make it so that it's nice and easy. Let's just move this out of the way first of all. So let's start with going to view and we'll go to grid and axis and we'll also bring up the uh, guides. Okay. So let's have it so that we're going to show a grid. That's going to help us. And also we can put some guides on there. That's going to help us too. So let's say we want to have a grid and it's going to be, say, three across and two down. And we want to do it sort of somewhere around about here and have it come across here with a gap in between of whatever's in between this one here. Now these grids here, as you say, are one centimetre square with one millimetre divisions. So we've got uh, that there to help us. So let's get into this. Now let's do our first square. And we're going to start here and come down to here. And that's uh, 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters. I'm going to press the right arrow key once, twice, three times. And then I'm going to do the same with the down arrow key twice, three times. Do that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the gap in between right. So let's just do this. And that's about right with uh, one of those gaps in between and then I'm going to do the same coming down this way and that should be about right not exactly right because the uh, gap in between there I don't think is exactly the same as the gap on between here let's use the um, zoom key and zoom into this here and see what I mean as you can see we've got uh, kind of two and a little bit there we've got two and a bit more than a little bit over there so it's exactly not exactly right but it could be good enough for whatever you're working on so we need to uh, do this a different way i think probably the best way to do this is with the uh, power duplicate instead but you can do a few things with this to make it possible with the quick grid and let's just do command and z to come out of that and uh, while we're actually a bit closer to this you might see that it's going to be a bit easier if we're a bit closer we can see what's going on better so let's first of all decide by um, saying what the grid, what the gap is going to be in between. So that's this part of the grid here is going to be what our horizontal and vertical gap is going to be. So I'm going to get the um, move tool again, and I'm going to bring this and put this over here, and put another guide in over here. I'll bring some guides in from the top as well. So uh, one there. Uh, we could do snap into grid and just not bother with these guys, but the guides will help you see what's going on a little bit better anyway. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a rectangle here. And the rectangle I'm going to start here and put it in there. And that is uh, two millimeters by two millimeters exactly. Perfect. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to make some rectangles in between and I'm going to use a different color for the rectangles. So let's uh, select off that there. Select a colour that we want to use. We'll use a blue colour. Get our rectangle tool again. We're going to start up here. This is going to be the size of our square this time. And we'll bring it down to here. And when I get to that spot there, and it's 10 millimetres by 10 millimetres, I'm going to use the uh, arrow key twice that way, twice going down. And then we're going to, have to do the hole down to get the gap in between. And you'll see that when we do this, it's going to show the, okay, I've just pressed that once too much there. And you can, so that's about right there now, uh, not far off. Press the arrow key to the right again to get that uh, other column done. And then let's just come down. And that's about right. And it's probably a bit closer on that than what we did with the other way of doing it because we've got this square in here being shown up and it just uh, makes it a bit, I think it makes it a bit better. If I zoom into this here, you can see that it's still not exactly right, but it was better than the previous one. Okay, so the better way to do this is to go to your uh, square tool there, or your rectangle tool, bring that across here and have it so it goes down to there, and that is exactly the right size. Then we go back up to this here and we're going to do Command and J to do a duplicate. And then I'm going to move that duplicate across. Hold down the shift key because it makes it move along nicer, makes it stay exactly in line. And I'm going to let that go. And then I'm going to do the next one. So do Command J again. And you go as many times along there as you want. 
then what we're going to do is the same sort of thing again we're going to grab these four things here and I'm going to bring them down uh, after I've done a command J so that's command J to do the duplicate and then bring this down to here hold down the shift key it locks up to the guidelines and also to the grid and I can let go of the mouse now and then I'll do command J and I've got a nice grid going there and these gaps in between here are absolutely perfect spot on and I'll show you exactly what I mean there be about, about it being exactly right we can use the measure tool here and we can go from here and come straight down and you see that exactly two millimeters across that way and we've got exactly two millimeters across that way so there Jando that is how you do it so I'm Dave Allen I'm good and geeky and if you could put a like or a comment on the video that would be great and also don't forget you can subscribe to it and not miss any of these tutorials as they come by I'll talk to you again soon bye bye now